Hello everyone, it is Children's Book Day and have I got a treat for you. You may not know that this Osmondpreneur friend of mine is a children's book author and Serenity Press is delighted to be publishing Little People, Big Emotions, Mid-Year in 2021. Welcome Kylie Mort. Hello Karen, thank you very much. Oh, I'm so excited about this. And our very own Tina Morton, who is the illustrator of the, the Duchess of York's book, um, Budgie and Cobby the Koala, is, is your illustrator for this book. So it's just going to be so special. I'm really looking forward to it. It's the most exciting thing. Oh, Kylie, can you share with us a little bit about yourself and why this is important to you? And yeah, we know that you're in education and all that, but just share with, with, with our viewers what you do and where you, where you come from. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, well, I am actually from Victoria. I live in a little place called Warrenbane, um, out on a farm. And I have been through so many different stages in life, but I really feel like being a children's author and this particular book is really, it's where all of my life's work has just led to. Um, it's its such a, a key part of my vocation because um, I I wrote this book um, on the spur of the moment while I was brainstorming ideas for other work. Um, and it just really springs from the fact that I, you know, survived a really trying traumatic childhood. Um, and my vocation has organically led through from being a teacher to opening a company that focuses on helping people and, and supporting young people. And it's, it's been a journey that's always so focused on how can I inspire young people how can I support them to be their best selves um, and then when the idea for this book and the you know the images just started coming to me about what it could be um, I was really like yeah I've got to get in touch with Karen because this is just you know if you're going to build resilient um, valued you know little people who feel like that they can do anything um, then you've got to start with them when they're really little so of course start with children's books absolutely and like you have an important wonderful valuable message and whenever we share it with kids in in you know in in the parents arm reading it or in a classroom in those safe spaces to get to learn these important um foundations for life that will then obviously lead on to you know being more self-aware being more stronger as and resilient as as they grow up do you agree yeah yeah, for sure. And certainly what's been a, a, a huge part of the message for me is empowering these little people to understand that there is always a safe big person to go to. There is always someone. It may not be the same as, you know, the, the other person beside you, um, but between parents and teachers and all of the support people that young people have, um, there's always somebody who's going to be able to... to to help them through any challenging emotions they have or the situations that they find themselves in where they're just not sure how to deal with it and not sure how to gauge their own reactions. Like emotions are big for adults. You can imagine what they're like for kids. You mm. know, that's the thing. And it's a conversation starter. Can you share with us a little bit of an insight into the book and, and what you're talking about in there, Kelly? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I actually, I'm a performance coach that works with a lot of people with academia, um, right through from primary school, high school, university. And so much of the time, what I see with individuals is they feel like they have to be a certain person, they have to fit into a certain niche, they have to respond in a certain way, they have to produce a certain thing, where what I'm always trying to do with my one on one mentoring with young people is to say you are unique you are valuable just as you are and you are important and what you have to bring to any situation is important so throughout this book what I'm trying to capture is the different ways that young people find themselves struggling with their own interpretation of a situation or an emotion certainly the the emotional undercurrents that are stirred up by situations and and letting them know that um, the way that you're feeling, it's it's unique to you, but it's also 100% okay. And that it's always okay to feel your feelings um, and that it's supposed to be like that. You know, th there's not 
emotions don't have to be shut down or pushed aside or changed to fit somebody else's perspective. Um, they just have to have the capacity to recognise what they're feeling and know how to work with that emotion and work with the situation to ensure that they continue down a really positive journey. Oh my goodness, music to my ears, you know, it's what we all needed to hear whenever we were growing up. It's okay to be you, you know, yeah, show up yeah. and be you. And, 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 you know, and I think and, that a lot of the, um, the adults that, that are there for young people, as adults, we look back and go, oh, I wonder if I'd have just known or wouldn't it have been great if I knew now, if I knew back then, sorry, what I know now. And, and what I'm trying to do through the, the book is to bring the little people and the older support people together so they can share this kind of knowledge and hopefully we will, you know, build a generation of young people who don't need to look back and go, I wish I knew then because, you know, it's, it's just amazing and that is the, the truth is that it's getting the the conversation started between the adults and the kids and saying yeah. here look read the story because quite often i have to admit from from my kids point of view i may tell them something and just go over their head it's just mum nagging or saying something but mm. when it's in a book and the conversation comes through there either within the home in a library or in in a in a school environment that's that just it, it reaffirms and also gives gives the kids um, just the strength and yeah. the ability to know that they're, they yeah. have their own kind of um, superpowers. It's amazing. Yeah. Kylie, cannot wait to bring little people, big emotions into the world. Um, and we know that you're going to have so much fun delivering this into schools and 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 you know around launch time and everything it's just going to be so fun and so high vibrational but will you come back and read for us around launch time so that um, everyone can see the beautiful illustrations and hear the the author read it i would absolutely love to read it to you all Yay, everyone, watch out for that. We hope that you, and thank you, Kylie, thank you for joining us. We cannot wait um, to, to share this book with the world. Watch out, guys, because the cover reveal will be coming soon. And today is Children's Book Day, so please celebrate by going and supporting an author and, and buying a book, sitting with your children, or just sitting just sharing stories and just that beautiful embrace that is putting a child on your lap and just reading them a story and then having the conversation because many picture books have beautiful insights in them filled with morals and filled with foundations of learning for for their futures to make them resilient so a book can go a long way so please share that with the world and watch out for kylie moore coming with little people big emotions bye kylie bye everyone